don't miss any content, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Uh, that we are, uh, this is uh, our level at the moment now, uh, we are in Confederation Cup, uh, I think that is the right level for us, we got to be realistic and uh, we have told them before, the fans, that uh, <laughs> we got, they got to be realistic uh, because we have only worked together for three months and um, uh, other have uh, been together for years, so uh, that is uh, what I have to say. How are you going to meet the targets management has given to you? Win every match. We have one target, that's the next match. And after we count the points. And I'm at now, your boy. Main fans will be a Kumasa presenters, and I also saw the players, so and one who coaches so. Team Nenya and Sukumasa presenters, but now I say, Kotoko team and a Kotoko coach. I'm one who cooked the team and see, I'm not that quite, you know. On share na kumasa presenters na mo both team na aso na no ma ye se no an hwehwe if say team na nyenti o kumasa presenters no mo ka no correct na o mo se mo team na nya no mo nja se da bia kwato ko ye se da kwato ye se ye ya ya ji ya wundi ye ti welcome back to sahara football so there you had some sound bites there before the video coach jetel zakaria said saying at the time he was appointed that he was aiming to win every game yes is the mantra of every coach but he went on to lose his very first game for Kumase Asante Kotoko. We also heard from Jeto Zekirais in saying Kumase Asante Kotoko's level was the CAF Confederations Cup and the first hurdle in the CAF Confederations Cup which is the playoffs they could not even overcome. I remember saying that Kotoko had to make it through to the group stages before Jeto Zekirais and could say that was their level. So now coach Jeto Zekirais what is Kumasi Asante Kotokos? And we had a fan also there. That's an old interview, but I think the circumstances currently are apt in that sense. So today we're going to talk about Kumasi Asante Kotokos' demise in the CAF Confederations Cup. It's, it's, it's been a really, really sad journey for Kumasi Asante Kotoko. They had a great one last season when Coach Siki Akono was in charge. Coach Jeto was a crisis was supposed to be an upgrade but what went wrong where did the porcupines get it wrong was it players fault was it the coaches fault was it the management fault i'm going to delve into it with a few numbers to support my claims as usual if you're new to the channel i advise you to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell to get more updates so kumasi asante kotoko appointed coach eto zakarai a little over three months ago to replace coach CK Akono. Now CK Akono had just won the normalization committee, special competition for Kumasi Asante Kotoko and that sent them into the CAF Champions League, an upgrade from the CAF Confederations Cup where they were last season. Now Jeto Zekarai according to reports was supposed to be an upgrade on CK Akono. He had a wealth of experience according to Kumasi Asante Kotoko management that appointed him and he was going to be the game changer in Kotoko's performances in Africa and beyond in the league as well. In the contract of Coach Jeto Zekirai saying he was told that the group stages was a must in his first season, possible semi-final berth in the next season and a third season he must win the trophy for them. None of that is going to happen. Yesterday, Kumasi Asante Kotoko lost 2-0 to FC San Pedro after taking a 1-0 victory from Abayara Sports Stadium at his court into Ivory Coast. And there are so many fans, there were so many fans who accompanied the team to that game. And unfortunately for the many teaming fans, it wasn't to be. Kumasi Asante Kotoko lost 2-0 on the day and that meant elimination from the playoff of the CAF Confederations Cup. It hasn't been a great journey for Kumasi Asante Kotoko. They lost their first game in the CAF Champions League against Kano Peles 3-2. Thankfully, they came back home and reverted that. They won 2-0 against Kano Peles and progressed to the next stage of the Champions League. That game was with Etoile du Sahel and it was quite unfortunate in the second leg. That is the first leg they won 2-0 here at the Babayara Sports Stadium. The second leg was however a different story they lost 3-0 and relegated to the to the confederations cup where 
Coach Jesus Christ in after that game said, Kumasi Asante Kotoko's level was not the Champions League. Fans should not expect so much from the team. They would have to lower their expectations in quotes. And the level of Kumasi Asante Kotoko is the Confederations Cup. The Confederations Cup playoff last week started, 27th October. Kumasi Asante Kotoko after the first half was rained off. The second half was played on Monday and they controversially got a penalty it was a penalty after Sonia Yakuba was brought down and navigator made no mistake from the penalty spot coach of fc san pedro was worried by the timing of the penalty and said that kumasi asante kotoko would have it all to do in i because then boy did they have it all to do it was a really shambolic performance from the porcupine warriors they did not impress at all the coach i think needs to be changed and there were some rumors that Kumasi Asante Kotoko appointed this coach because of his skin color. I don't know how true that is. I don't know why that should be based on that. Now Kumasi Asante Kotoko also, if you've been following this channel, the reports that Coach Yeto Zekaraisen did not have the required license to be a coach. So if someone like that, we all know this about him and he didn't have the support of the management, management later backed him up. Why was he appointed in the first place to replace coach CK Akono? Now, CK Akono has been impressive. He was impressive when he was in Kumasi Asante Kotoko. He took them to the group stages of the CAF Confederations Cup. He took them, they finished third on the table. Unfortunately, fine margins. Kotoko's defensive lapses let them down. So, that begs the question why was CK Akono sacked? Why wasn't he let to stay, allowed to stay at the club and continue his work? He led them to the Normalization Committee Special Competition Final where they won and qualified for the CAF Champions League. He beat Accra Hatovo in the semi-final of that competition. So why would someone who looked to be in the right direction, yes, light years in the right direction, he qualified the team to the group stages of the Confederations Cup for the first time in 11 years and that person has to be sacked it, it's really really something damning on the Kotoko management shows their ineptitude their incompetence in delivering their duty yeah we all know talk is cheap i can sit here and say whatever i want but kumasi has anti Kotoko management have not done the best if they would be very honest with themselves to the point of recruiting as many as 15 players and letting your key players go albeit you can't force a player to play when he doesn't want to but circumstances were not attractive for anyone who was with the club at the time management were doing really really funny things i have to say the issue with musa who said that kumasi asante kotoko have to pay him how did they do that scouting on that player that player came into kotoko and he later on was found out that he didn't meet the requirements for the club who sanctioned that player to be signed by Kumasi Asante Kotoko. So many questions to be answered by Kotoko management and I know you have a lot of questions so leave them in the comments box but Kumasi Asante Kotoko have not done well. They've not done themselves any favors here. They should have stuck with CK Akono. Now CK Akono in the CAF Confederations Cup qualifying round he drew the first game against Karabangi Sharks and won the other three. Qualified for the group stages of the CAF competition for the first time in 11 years. CK Akono in the CAF Confederations Cup group stages, he lost 3-1-2 and drew 1. He finished third in the group and failed to make it out of the group stages. He won the Normalization Committee Special Competition for Kumasi Asante Kotoko, the tier 1 that sent them to the Champions League, CAF Champions League. Coach Eto Zagraisen in the CAF Champions League qualifying round, he lost to and won two. He blew a 2-0 lead against Etoile du Sahel, lost 3-0 away and were relegated to the CAF Champions League. In the playoffs, he has won one and lost one. 1-0 at home and lost 2-0 at home to see Kotoko out of the competition. So why would you want to change a winning formula? I have a, a favorite saying that if it's not broken, don't fix it. CK Akono didn't need fixing, he didn't need changing. Now he is the assistant coach of the Ghana Black Stars. Who will Kumasi Asante Kotoko appoint? It's obvious that Coach Yeto Zekaraisen will be sacked. Many fans were angry at the result and rightly so. 
they invest a lot of money in the club you are made to pay five Ghana city minimum to use their Kotoko Express app and you can't get good service delivery on that app you have to watch a 10 second app every single time you're watching something on the app and that is not good enough if people are paying for that app paying to use the app I think it should be ad free it is just sensible that it will be ad free just my few two cents here I'm sharing my few thoughts on Kumasi Asante Kosoko's demise and the way forward for them how do you think they can progress or move past this the Ghana Premier League is set to start on the 17th of November and Kumasi Asante Kotoko and the other Premier League clubs will be back in action but the Porcupine Warriors have really really disappointed in Africa it's not been great from them the management has to see a reshuffle they have been really poor I have to say that is the starting point if anything is to change at Kumasi Asante Kotoko and I think they will all agree with me if they will be honest with themselves so now Zachary Ryzen joined the club in July to replace CK Akono who was brutally fired we still don't have a reason why CK Akono was sacked according to reports his relationship with the players and all that was part of the issue but they were getting results so why change that winning formula if the friction was getting them results why do you have to change it and many people were wondering why he was sacked and he made it to the final of the normalization committee special competition final and brought them to the CAF Champions League. Earlier, he failed to steer the club to the Champions League money zone after suffering elimination at the hands of Etoile du Sahel. That is Jato Zakarish. And his postman comment at the club infuriated a lot of fans after he said Kotoko's level was the CAF Champions League. Per his contract, he was asked to lead the Porcupine Warriors to the group stage of the CAF Champions League in his first season so he will face the sack then in the second year qualify the team for the champions league again with its semi-final as the target and in this final year that is his third year he has been tasked to reach the final of the calf champions league so coach jesus like read all this in his contract and still went to say kotoko level is the calf confederation cup he got them to their level he still failed does he deserve to stay who should replace him if you think he should leave let me know your thoughts on everything in the comments box talking about Kumasi Asante Kotoko's demise in African competitions what is the way forward for the Porcupine Warriors I suggest first of all management has to be reshuffled they have shown that they are not ready to manage this football club basing hiring off the coach sacking a coach who has been doing well away from the club just like that without any reason to the fans to the public to the media whatsoever let me know your thoughts on everything in the comments box i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your week Bye.